Hi everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. It's Mike here and welcome to another set review. Today we have the Firstborn, the Red Dragon from the newest Summer 2018 uh, Hunted season from Ninja Go. Uh, this set was sent to us by LEGO, so thank you so much LEGO for giving us the opportunity for reviewing this set. And now let's take a closer look into it and get into the Lightroom. Before I even say anything else, I gotta admit that Firstborn is a pretty awesome name for a dragon and this set right off the bat does provide some very decent value for the price. That is set number 70653, inside we have 882 parts and 6 minifigures, the age recommendation is 9 to 14. In the US the set retails for $69.99 which gives you a very nice ratio of price to piece and you can see also prices in other countries flashing on the screen right now. A very good looking dragon has a saddle in the back which you can actually remove if you wish and just get those keychains out and you got yourself a wild dragon. Other than that we have something that you have never seen before, I'm gonna be talking about this thing in a second, a helicopter that's very unique in design and looks and how it works and also we've got six minifigures as I mentioned, two good guys, two ninjas, Kai and Cole and four bad guys with those awesome new prints for the hunted season. Those sets also introduced things called the dragon armor, each set has some of it, we have two parts in this one plus the sword, so that'll be actually three parts, but first let's take a look at the minifigures starting off with the good guys. There is Kai and a quick disclaimer is that uh, you only get I think one print of each ninja in all these sets, so that's the same thing they did with the Ninja Go movie, that we most of the time had only one version of him, and excluding the collectible minifigs. But yeah, uh, this guy will appear most likely in all the hunted sets that were released or will be released in the coming wave, hopefully. Um, well, that's nothing to be really disappointed about because the prints are generally very good. Uh, Kai has a kind of a different uh, thing going on here. You can see the pattern on his red outfit is uh, just a very subtle one. But I like the fact that he has some sort of a chain mail on his right side of right side of the torso that goes through towards the leg. You can see those like eyes of the chain, so like pieces of the chain of the chain mail. It's covered by a leather um, harness or scabbard that you know he has a scabbard that's the same one that we had before for two uh, swords. This time we have the mentioned before Tantos, and he's holding the. A dragon bone sword. That's the piece that you get in this set from the dragon armor. Well, the print is really nice. I like it a lot. Even some details on the feet. That is something to be really um, happy about. The mask is, I think, the most the same as we had in the Diego movie. He got the emblem on the forehead, two face expressions that are somewhat similar to what we've seen before. But definitely the print is a nice update, I like it a lot. Uh, one of the hands is worth mentioning that it's uh, a bit of a dark red color and the other one is just clear one. As you can see, it's actually torn the damage to his outfit and he's missing an entire sleeve. So again, I think those guys are battle scarred in this line, trying to survive in a very harsh environment, fighting all the time, the dragon hunter clan or something like that. So every each one of them has some sort of a damage cut clothing on them. And that is something I noticed and that is something I enjoy. Here is Cole and the damage can be seen even more than on Kai. You can see some scratches on his skin even so. And a lot of his top shirt is missing or top uh, leather armor or whatever he was wearing. Uh, it's, it's, it's bruised. <laughs> it's like he got in the fight. And the, both the front and the back can be seen as some sort of a scratch from a claw. Or I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, the mask, uh, same uh, mold as before with emblem on his forehead, he's keeping his hammer as his weapon. Nice print for uh, this leather kind of armor with some damage to his knee pads, I think those are cloth knee pads. Again print on the toes, that's really nice addition. And overall just keeps the quality going, I like those guys and I like the new approach of those battle scarred ninjas if I may. Now on to the bad guys. The first one that I think is the most unique is the Jet Jack. <laughs> Jet Jack, I think that's gonna be Jack's favorite minifig. This guy is fully Mad Max, I gotta say. Some crazy um, 80s era Mad Max type of visor with damage to it. Some scars underneath, a very uh, dangerous looking teeth uh, green in there. So. <laughs> Fig is awesome, you can see in the back it has some dots for uh, shaved hair and the, um, you know, the style of hair that um, 
she I think that's he he's wearing is actually matching up with the whole thing. I like this rubbery piece, very cool looking. This fig is probably one of the most unique ones in terms of head uh, printing of all of them for the current wave. The print for the torso is, uh, I think, unique to this guy. I don't see that kind of jacket or vest in any other guys. Some pockets, some chain, there's a zipper in the middle. I think the legs are the same as most of the guys. Same, uh, at least the same print for the knee pads and those pieces of plating armor. Definitely cool thing to have there. And the build for the jetpack is a simple one. Just a clear bracket with a few elements, some arms in olive green, some fangs for the wings, and that's all it is for jetpack. Nozzles are just like pieces, side, side studs of this bracket brick. He holds a thing in his hand. I'm not sure what it is. Some sort of a... Oh, I think it's a half moon blade. That's how they call it. Um, so I, I think the scythe was a half moon blade, but this is actually the half moon blade. Really nice looking. And kind of a unique looking weapon. A short one, I'm not sure how he fights with that. Now this guy is something special, uh, bear with me, the name is Chu Toy. <laughs> I have no idea what is he for, I, I can only guess, I think he's a, he's a toy for the dragon. He's like, I mean his face tells me that he's not the brightest of the pack, so I guess I don't know if he volunteered for that role, but um, he probably agreed to it without knowing what's going really on. You can tell by <laughs> the armor piece, there is some sort of a, mm, a target painting or sprayed on target on his chest to maybe attract the dragon to chew him. I have no idea. It looks very funny. He's also holding a piece of a turkey. That, uh, that turkey is in the, in the helicopter, I'm gonna show you in a second. But this guy is, I guess, just a bait. <laughs> I don't know what well, Chuto is. The name gives it all. Uh, he has a shield, a buildable shield, uh, that he's supposed to defend himself with and probably attract the dragon to come out of his lair. Great role, great, great important thing in the clan to, to be and um, definitely this guy is, is suited for the role. He has a, a nice print uh, matching all the other guys, definitely a style that's kept in there. Ah, um, oh, that face expression is awesome, I gotta say, like, he's uh, silly, silly but awesome, one of the most unique ones. Helmet has only one fang, I don't think it's a, I think it's intentional to just, uh, you know, uh, highlight his role of being not the brightest one. Uh, it definitely matches up. And this guy is, I think, shows in one other set at least. <laughs> really cool guy, I like him a lot, and just the silliness shows how, uh, how LEGO is not really serious about this dim at all, um, trying to be funny whenever they can. The two remaining guys have also been uh, present in the Diesel Note set, that's the Muzzle and Heavy Metal. Muzzle is the guy with the cowl or uh, cape, and um, Heavy Metal is the guy with the uh, brown hat, and both have this awesome piece for this armored scabbard. The weapon of the heavy metal is the same, this um, harpoon thing, uh, something, I don't remember the name, but uh, it's the same build, definitely the same exact fig. Uh, muzzle is not having um, the staff this time, or the skite that he was, he was using, he's holding two buildable katanas, um, and only one can fit in the bag, because that scabbard only holds one sword at a time, and the second one is in his hand. Just a quick note on that piece of the uh, dragon armor holder uh, in Diesel Note. We got all the four pieces for the dragon armor. In this set, we are getting three. Uh, we're not getting the, um, the chest plate part. That's, I think, the coolest one. We get the shield, the helmet, and the sword that's being held by Kai. So this dual molded sword, the dragon bone sword, is uh, also part of this set. So you get three out of four pieces. If you get the Diesel Note, you get all four. Remember that. And now on to the cool stuff. Let's check out this helicopter first. It's called the Hunter Copter. And this is... I have never seen a thing like that in a Ninjago build or any other helicopter build whatsoever. Lego, if you type in on Brickset, Helicopter, Lego, you will end up in having hundreds of results. Lego is building helicopters for years now. City being the probably most prominent theme for helicopters. Ninjago had a few of them few other themes as well. Helicopters are a big thing for LEGO, but I have never seen anything on this type of style. First things first, it is a bait helicopter. You can see it has the turkey in the bag. Guess what? It's missing a leg because Mr. Chutoy is being used as a live bait, so he has a part of a, uh, you know, turkey in his hand, or maybe he's just hungry. Maybe he's just like, 
again, not the brightest one and just took a piece of bait to eat for himself. <laughs> this thing has also a chain. Uh, the purpose for this is probably to catch the dragon as it flies by, tries to, trying to get the turkey. The guys hit the dragon with the chain and they have it on a leash after they do that. So definitely the helicopter works as a hunter copter, that's the name. Uh, the second thing is that it gets a really cool function for the rotor. Nothing you have, I have seen, at least, I don't know, as far as I remember, I haven't seen anything like that before. It's a tiltable rotor blade with a function so you can actually use it one-handed. No problems, you can, you, can, you, can, you can fly a lot with this. This is cool, this is really cool. And as you know, as real helicopters work, you move the rotor forward or you lean forward the helicopter, you fly faster, you lean back, you fly slower. This thing can tilt a bit to um, control your speed. That is really nice function. I'm just keep hitting this dragon, can you? Thank you very much. And yeah, works pretty well. You can see some exhaust engine. This build is pretty nice looking. I like the cage here. Uh, very Mad Maxi. It's a post-apocalyptic world. You build things from whatever you have, whatever materials you have. And this thing just looks like a scrap built helicopter uh, with this cage thing and some, some of those blades in the front to make up the shape. Really nice and color combo. I mean, it's all cool, like rusty, a bit orange, a bit of this like stickers showing the rust. A bit of a damage there and this thing never seen a tail build by using this piece ever i i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think lego has ever used this part for a helicopter tail and it's awesome because it's sturdy it's one piece it's bolted in through so very swooshable nothing's gonna wobble and you can hold it you can you can fly the thing super awesome design i like it you don't see quite uh, a piece like that, used like that, very, very often. Um, the tail rotor, built of fangs. <laughs> really cool. Uh, keeps up the dim, I guess. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. Just like, like a post-apocalyptic chopper. Really cool. I like this thing a lot. I don't know why, but this is so cool. Look at this thing. It's big. It's really, really surprisingly big in size. The wingspan is, is quite impressive. I can't even like fit it in the shot as I try to because I mean those are like the spread out wings. You can, you can retract them a bit if you, if you, if you want. The, the cloth, uh, the plastic piece, it's actually plastic, folds up pretty well and definitely once it, it looks the most impressive once you get it out there. Um, the legs are fully articulating. You can see the guy is trying to lean forward. It's a bit, it's a bit heavy build. It's solid but it's a bit heavy as well. Let's try to get him standing a bit. There you go. There's the jaw. Um, yeah, looks nice. Let's start off with the front. You can see that it has pretty awesome eyes. And the good news here is those are prints. Yes, printed eyes on a slope. No stickers. I mean, the set have stickers. It has stickers. Those scales here, those are stickers. There's uh, some on, on, on this leg. But the eyes are Prints. Oh, there's a sticker here too. Prints, 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 prints. Great to have finally prints in just a normal Lego set. Nothing UCS, nothing crazy. I think the, the Blue Dragon, the Stormbringer, also has prints for the eyes in blue this time. So, very welcomed change. Thank you, Lego, for not making this a sticker. I should have fixed those uh, fangs here because those actually retract. You can change the, the look by getting them forward. So you can see the head looks differently completely when you do that. Uh, Ratchet the joint, uh, you can get it not oops, not too low because there is a limit, but higher up if you want to, the jaw opens up. Wah. Really cool head. I, I mean, I like this brick built head. This dragon is probably one of the best looking ones you can right now get. The minifig space right here. Let's get our Kai is the one to ride this thing. He's holding his dragon sword. Maybe the dragon reacts to it or like respects it so we can fly it. I have no idea how it goes yet. But the minifigure is a pretty comfy space here, a lot of space, retractable seat, air conditioning, you know, um, electric windows, everything is there, full package. Definitely a cool thing to have. Really cool looking, integrates with the minifig very well. You can see the Kai is kind of blending with the dragon's uh, color scheme. Awesome. Some of these brown pieces are contrasting a bit. You can lift them up a bit. Those are like pieces of the, of the saddle as well chains to control the dragon obviously everything is here uh, that you need to fly a dragon and speaking of flying check it out there's a function here that does work pretty well 
very hidden, nothing too special, but isn't that cool? It's so seamless. I mean, you hold it and you just fly away. Very seamless operation. You can have one wing if you need to. You can have second wing. I mean, the second is a bit different because it overlaps a bit, but you can, you can move it pretty fast. And it doesn't really make any difficulty on doing this. I can do this all day. I can do this all day. Fly away. Yeah. Really nice stuff. I, I like this a lot. Definitely a function that I was nicely surprised with and I welcome this function quite a bit. Going to the back, there is the tail. Uh, I think that's the function that they used for the first time in the green Ninja Mech Dragon from Ninja Go Movie, where you can swipe the tail with this cog here. This works pretty well, some inertia, making the tail move really easily. Nothing too crazy, but works pretty well. And I'm glad they kept this function because first time I liked it in the Ninja Go uh, Movie, a green Mech Dragon. This thing repeats itself in this dragon and it also appears in the Stormbringer. So definitely a very well thought through dragon. And those wings, I mean, this is a very good quality cloth. It's, it's bending. You can, you know, as I showed you before, you can bend the wings as you want to, but it doesn't damage the, the plastic. It's, it's, such, it's so soft. It's like a foil that's a bit thick, but soft. So uh, I think I'll even like it better than the, um, the clothing. If they use a clothing here, It'll be okay, but still, this thing works great. Actually, um, you can, yeah, not much you can you can you can hide here. It still like keeps, you know, uh, has to keep the mechanism out of the flopping wings there. But spread out, those look pretty good. This thing has a pretty impressive wingspan. I cannot really find a bad thing to say about this set, uh, given the fact that the value is so good, the price to piece ratio is so good. I mean, of course, you get a lot of small pieces, all right? You get a lot of these fangs that are not really useful elsewhere. You get a few other things in the dragon that just bump up the count of the pieces. But still, the value is there. It's one of the best looking dragons you can possibly get, one of the best functioning ones. My favorite one so far was the Green Ninja Mech Dragon from Ninja Go Movie, just because it was so unique. But in this one, they expanded the, the kind of a style, making it more of a, like an organic dragon with a very nice wing uh, working function. Um, a lot of possibility with nicely designed legs overall. And the looks are just there. I mean, even the back, this smooth area here, that thing looks just great with a lot of like slopes and um, not tiles, but like a combination of slopes. You can see that this is very good looking overall. Definitely a thing that I was missing maybe a bit in the Green Ninja Mech Dragon because it was mostly mechanical, but this thing looks more organic with this natural dragon scale armor. A set that I could easily recommend, I think, for the price is definitely something you would uh, want to have if you like dragons. If you are missing some dragons in your Ninja Go collection, this is uh, this one is hard to pass on. I think it's the best looking dragon. Definitely looks better than the Stormbringer for me at least. Um, the Stormbringer has a extra function to actually connect to Ninja Go, uh, to, uh, sorry, Lego Boost. Um, this one doesn't. So that may, may some people may choose the Stormbringer because of that of, over the the Firstborn. But you get the helicopter. That's just very unique for what it is. Very unique build, and overall quite a nice experience to have and definitely a helicopter that I don't want to break down because it works cool and looks cool. It's, it's just unique and that's just added value to this set. Minifigs are great. Selection is good. You get a piece of the three pieces of the dragon armor. I wish they added the chest plate piece to make it complete, but you can't have everything. I guess they try to like separate the pieces among uh, different sets for people to buy more than one set, I guess. But again, you buy these or not you get all the pieces, so it doesn't really matter. But the dragon gives you three, so that's okay. And here it is, the Firstborn. Again, one of the best looking dragons that you can right now get in the entire Ninja Go line. Hey, thanks for watching this video. As always, you can leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel, you can head over to our web store at www.brickvault.toys. You can find awesome models there. All these guys that I have on the table are available in the forms of instructions and parts lists. Every purchase you make supports our channel and also the designers that are working with us on those uh, amazing models. So consider doing that. Thanks so much. And it was Mike. I'll see you again on Brick Vault. Bye.